guys today I'm gonna to tell you about combining elements in PowerPoint or Excel tables where you present your data in different charts so we'll use ThinkCell for adding a secondary access secondary access means as you can see on your screen right now this is the secondary access so we have an information going on flowing with different differences whereby we also want to present one percentage that's altogether a different uh, I'll say access which needs to be pulled in so I will show you using things out how can you plug it in your charts first I have pulled out some data for you some months um, I build them I like them and uh, some percentages for each month and definitely there is some costs some cash and some sales going on so we need to plug this in uh, along with the percentage that you can see here. There's a percentage is the secondary axis that should be appearing over there. So first of all, you have to select this data because then you can pull it in uh, PowerPoint via Excel selection. So we go back in Excel, go to insert um, things cell elements and this is the combination element. Just click on it and now you can place it anywhere on your PowerPoint. There are some data which is by default pulled in. Definitely this is not the data that you want to see so for that reason as I said you have to select the data so first of all you have to establish a link uh, with Excel that is how you can go and establish the link so data selection you have to make first and then you go back on your table and then click on this establish Excel link it will automatically populate the data that you selected and there you go now you can see in this combination chart you can separately see percentage on top of your cost sale and cash so that's how you can pull in another secondary access in your think cell data and you can present this representation more conveniently so this example was from office 2013 or how should I say office 365 where you can see this happening uh, the same example I would like to give you a quick uh, snapshot from office uh, 2007 there is also this combination uh, bar appearing so you can just pull in exactly the way you pulled in uh, in Office 2013 and you can enjoy uh, the different access in the same slide. I hope it was helpful and you enjoyed it. Looking forward to talk to you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.